My name is Danny. I'm an art instructor, and you're tuned in to the Able Arts Work Virtual Learning Channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some watercolor ghosts for the Halloween season. For this activity, you'll need some watercolor paper, watercolors, and a pen to draw faces on the ghosts. So grab your materials, and we can get started. We're going to be watering down some colors today so we can make the ghosts look extra misty and transparent. And you can use any color that you like. I think I'm going to stick with some purples and blues. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush into the purple and add some water. Make sure I get it super watered down. We want the ghost to be clearly transparent. And I'm going to start on the top left corner of my page. I'm going to start by giving them a big round head that is going to be trail off into a little wispy tail. I'm also going to give them little arms. And this is going to be the basic ghost form that we are working with today. I'll pick another color next. I'll go with one of my blue paints here. I'm just going to water it down to my palette. We're going to start by making that same shape again. Round up the top. That starts to trail off into a little wispy tail. Two little rounded arms. You don't have to give them arms if you don't want. I think it looks kind of cute. So let's keep going and just pick different colors and start filling our page with ghosts. You can probably fit five or six on a little page like this. I'm going to try to make one each a little bit different. So maybe I only have a few blues and purples, but I can mix them together to get slightly different colors. Next, I'm going to try one of my redder paints and mix it with some purples and see if I water it down if I can make it kind of a reddish pink. As long as you're picking a color that you enjoy and you water it down enough, it'll be light enough for you to draw a face on. So feel free to play around with whatever colors you like best. So again, we're just giving it a round head, trailing it off. Now let's go ahead and fill out our page together, and then we'll wait for the paint to dry before we draw little faces on them. Great! So Let's just wait for our paint to dry. I will skip to the point where mine is ready to be drawn on top. All right, now that our ghost friends are dry, let's take our pen or a marker, and we're going to put little faces on each one of them. You can make them look happy if you want, or you can have them given a spooky face like this as though they're saying boo. Let's just try to make them different if you want. I'll have this one be smiling and winking. Let's just have fun with making different facial expressions. Give it a big smile. Have them 
have their eyes closed. Feel free to add any extra details. Maybe this one is singing. Maybe this one is saying boo. I hope that you had fun drawing with me. I hope you picked some colors that you enjoyed. Check out the other videos on our channel about art, language, and music.